Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and welcome back to a very rainy northeast airfield on my Xbox community server. And in this video, I want to show you how you can install a fast travel system on your Xbox or your PlayStation or your PC server that's relatively easy to install. Um, um, but first off, I'm just going to show you kind of how it works, what, what you have to do as a character to make the fast travel system work. Then I'm going to direct you towards the files. If you already know what you're doing with XMLs and JSONs and that sort of stuff, in the link in the description below this video, you'll see a link to my GitHub repository. Um, and there's the README files so you can get the full instructions and download everything. If you just want to get started and not bother with the rest of the video, um, you can do that. So here we are. So dotted around the map at the three main airfields or three airfields on Chernerus, uh, so the northeast airfield the northwest airfield and at blotter airfield there's these rather <laughs> dilapidated airplanes and mirek here our survivor our pilot um, and all we have to do is get into the airplane or get close to it you don't actually have to really get into it and all you do is you log off like this and then you wait for your character to fully go so you don't get that error that says you're currently logging off. Wait a couple of seconds. Hit play again. Log back onto the same server. Don't accidentally go to a different server. Because obviously you'll get the um, the transport thing where you get transported somewhere else. And then, lo and behold, we are at the northeast airfield now. As you can see, even though it's still throwing it down. There's Mirik, he's got out. And then we can say, okay, tell you what, let's go back to, um, let's go to Bolotta. So let's just get in. You don't, you can't choose where you want to go as a player. Um, the uh, three fast travel points of the three aeroplanes, it, it kind of goes around in a anti-clockwise manner. So we're going to go to Bolotta now. Um, and then once we get to Bolotta, we'll go back to the northeast airfield. Um, obviously, you can't take any vehicles. You can take the kit with you as well. If you're on a full server and there's a queue for that server just be aware that obviously you're going to get um you're going to go to the back of that queue so as you can see we're at Bolotta airfield now how you doing thank you thank you for the trip sir um and then we can get back in and you should see now if we exit we're gonna end up back at the northeast airfield now i will be doing a uh one of these sets of files for Sakal. I'll probably be doing one for Livonia um, and I will be doing a tutorial on how you can make your own system like this um, but what I really want people to do especially server owners actually not just server owners but everybody so here we are we're back up at the, um, the northeast airfield okay so let's just exit out of here so we don't have to worry about these noises what I really want people to think about not just server owners but everybody think about what we could do with this so in essence what's happening is that what we can do now is if a player logs off in a certain uh, position we can then transport them wherever we like okay so there's all sorts of possibilities for this a simple fast travel systems like this you could have things like where you know the various bunkers and tunnel entrances around all of the maps that you go up to but there's nothing there you can't get in well what you could do is if you logged off at the entrance you could then be transported somewhere else where on the map say in the sea somewhere where you created a tunnel that you could go through the tunnel and when you get to the other end of the tunnel when you log off you come back out of the um out of the tunnel maybe on the other side of the mountain something like that there's all sorts of possibilities okay so here we go so let's have a look so this is basically there's mirac there's his airplane um and that's the fast, fast travel so you can you can go to any one of these points and then just get into the plane, log off, and you'll be transported to the next one. Um, nice and easy. Uh, works uh, works quite nicely. So if you want the files, just go to my GitHub repository, uh, which has got a link in the description below this video. There'll also be a link to my mega repository, which is exactly the same, but it's kind of a backup. So if one doesn't work, you'll still have access to the other. To get the files, all you do is you click on code, download it, and this will download them all to your local computer. Um, so you, what you want to do is just put them in a put them in a folder, something like that. So you've got all the files. The images are just that; they're just references, just to have a look. You could delete those if you don't want them. The README control uh, contains all of the instructions. The Cherno plane fast travel objects.json. That's the object spawner file that spawns in the planes. 
in the various locations and these fast travel files these dot JSONs here these actually take advantage of a mechanic that was introduced with the Frostline Sakal expansion to do with the bunker so on the bunker on Sakal if you go down inside one of the rooms that is controlled by a door that opens and closes if you log off there so you could get trapped basically if you log off it transports you out in a similar way to the gas zone one did but what the beauty of this one is that we can control all of these coordinates that's what makes it so exciting so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to kind of go through uh, these instructions for people maybe who are a uh, in fact, let's open it up in notepad plus plus who are maybe a little bit rusty or a little bit unsure about what to do um, but the readme does include definitive step-by-step -step instructions so by all means just get hold of the files download them and just walk through this step-by-step um, -step and it will show you show you what to do now on your server uh, if you're on console for example you'll you know it'll look something like this and you'll go to the web interface like this and you'll go to the file browser like so and you go to the missions folders for PS missions for PlayStation, XB missions for Xbox, missions for PC, and you go into Daisy Offline Generous Plus, like so. And then you're going to be playing with these files. Now I'm going to do it slightly differently in the fact that I'm going to be showing you on my local computer, on a local server that's running on my local computer. So where this kind of <coughs> excuse me, where this says Daisy Offline Generous Plus here. See, this is the folder we're in. On my local computer it's here so I'm just going to go into it so although it looks different um, the files you know CFG economy CFG effect area if we go back here you see they're all here so it's so it's so you should be able to translate what I'm doing on my local PC to what you'll be doing on your remote server okay so let's go back and um, have a look so the first thing to say is remember with all of these mods that I create um, there's always a chance that I've made a mistake. In fact, there's a very high chance that I have made a mistake. <laughs> so it may ruin your server, so be careful of that. Don't trust everything I have done, and it's always a good idea to validate the files that I've uh, created and you download, because also there could be some corruption, couldn't there, when things get downloaded. Also, a big, big thanks has to go out to um, Dab at the Daisy Editor Mod um, for a lot of these things just wouldn't be possible without the daisy editor to be able to, to place stuff around the map and get coordinates that way um and um a big big thank out big big thanks has to go out to king alabar as well so make sure you do a quick google search i'll put a link to his uh, youtube channel in the description of this video because he's the first video i saw that used this method to transport somewhere and that kind of gave me the idea of, wait a minute, we could use this as a fast travel system. Um, and I believe Ginny J, who's an associate of King Alaba, or someone he knows, uh, they uh, came up with some more of the details as, as well that helped King Alaba create his video, I think. Um, so, so there we go. So let's scroll down. So the first thing to make sure is that on your server, the cfggameplay.json file is activated so you've probably done this already but on nitrado for example we would go into settings general and we would scroll down and it will somewhere down here it will say enable cfg gameplay.json enable cfg so you just take that and save that if you're on pc um it will be I think in the settings here but it'll be in your expert settings um, and you either write write in a line that says um, enable CFG gameplay equals one or there'll be one at the bottom or somewhere that says enable CFG gameplay equals zero and you change it to one and kind of do that the other th next thing to do is on PC uh, if you're doing it what you want to do is create oops, if we go to the right folder create a custom folder um, on console we have a custom folder already on our nitrado servers and if you ever create a file for console that isn't a vanilla file so it's so it's a new name file it must go in the custom folder if you don't the server will ignore it okay i think this is to protect the servers now this isn't the case with pc you can put files anywhere and refer to them so what you'll find in most of my tutorials about these these sorts of things 
I'll say to PC users, look, create a custom folder because it means that I don't have to change the order in which I do things. Also, it's a good idea to have a custom folder because th this is kind of, you can keep all your custom files in there. Now, you won't have as many of these because obviously I do a lot of messing around. And so what you're going to do is those files that you've downloaded, um, Cherry Plane Fast Travel, Fast Travel Blotter Airfield, Fast Travel Northeast Airfield, Fast Travel Northwest Airfield, um, those four files, you want to upload them to your custom folder. Um, so let's just go back. Oop, wrong one. Let's go back there. So you go to your custom folder and you'll upload all those files into that particular directory there. And then you want to scroll down and you want to open up your CFG gameplay file, which would be that one there. And you'll open it up. Uh, let me do this on my local PC. like so and we want to look for the player uh, so we want to look for the wet a wetness weight modifiers line and then what we're going to do is we're going to take that there and we're going to scroll down there is it and at the end of wetness wet mod weight modifiers you're going to add a comma like that and then you're going to paste in that line there so it's going to going to look like that and they're those fast travel files they're the ones that have the coordinates that say when a player goes to this plane or near this plane and they log off send them to this location here that, that's what those files do there so they're very important and then you want to scroll down and you want to find the object spawner array line in your cfg gameplay uh, and it's just up above so it should say object spawner array and if you haven't got anything at the moment it will just have an open square bracket and closed square bracket um, and so within that you then paste that that we've done oh there you do you just paste let's do that again in fact that's probably a good way of doing it actually if you copy the whole thing like so so you replace the whole thing. Now, if you've already got some um, objects being referred to, like there, I show you how to just add it in. So basically what you do is you just make sure that in between each reference, as, as you can see, we refer to the folder custom forward slash cherno plane fast travel objects .json, comma. You then put a comma and then you have the other one, but you don't have a comma after that, but you do have a comma after the closing square bracket. So you do that and then you save that. Now. When you're using this sort of system, um, it's a good idea to make it faster for your player to be able to log in and out of your server. So if you go into the DB directory and open up the global setting and then go down to time logging and time lag, time log in and time log out, change them from 15 seconds to 5 seconds. So on your Nitrado server, it would be here. There we are. Time login, time login. I see I've already changed them, so change them to that. That one thing I should have mentioned at the beginning was you should have stopped your server as well. That's why it's probably better to read the instructions and follow the instructions rather than follow me to when I do these videos. Now, what you could do at this point is you could just restart your server after uploading those files and making those changes, and the planes would spawn in and the fast travel systems would work, but you wouldn't have the NPC. So, if you want Mirek, um, the survivor. Uh, with his with his pilot gear on to stand in front of the planes but do you know by all means then you can do the next bit um, and you can follow that in the instructions where you add a little bit of code to the, your types.xml add a little bit of code to your cfg spawnable types uh, .xml and then you add um, some coordinates to your cfg event spawns.xml um, and uh, the events.xml um, and then you get the pilot spawning in the thing about the pilot though is that people can kill him and, <laughs> and take his stuff now all he's got on him is a pilot a hat and some jeans and a jacket so he's not actually you know very very valuable the other thing that might happen to him he might get attacked by zombies as well or or wolves or bears or he might just die of hunger so there may be situations where people come up to the plane and Mirik is uh, is dead 
um, which wouldn't be very immersive. So you might want to, you know, you know, take him off and do it, do him that way. And so when you've done all that stuff and you've done those changes, all you need to do is save, re-upload any files you've been editing on, and restart your server, and you'll be good to go. So there we go. That's it, really. It, it's relatively simple to put in this. Uh, system as long as you follow it each step by step and obviously when we do have a server update and we go back to vanilla files because you've had to do that then you're going to have to kind of reinstall them so the the next files as i say will be a sacal file um, and then we, we'll see where we go from there and i will do a tutorial that shows you how to do this yourself because it is relatively easy you've just got to be very careful the way that you copy and paste um, the different coordinates Okay, so hopefully this has been useful. If it has been, hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you all again soon.